A hard-headed ex-soldier and a hard-headed Belgian Malinois compete in the new Channing Tatum movie called Dog. As Nine on Your Side's Craig Smith reports, the Army values Malinois for their energy, loyalty, and intelligence. And at Fort Huachuca, the human and canine soldiers get along a lot better. All throughout the Army, soldiers train and train hard for their specialty. And Fort Huachuca is certainly no exception, but we're going to introduce you to a soldier with a really different sort of background. Rehabilitation. In the new movie, Dog, Channing Tatum plays an army ranger, bringing a military working dog to the funeral of a soldier the dog used to work with. Tatum's character had worked with the dog, too. You remember me? It's your favorite chew toy from 2015. Easy. Lulu is not exactly a model of military no, discipline. <laughs> or an island of calm. Maybe just take crazy down. Just like one knot. Just one knot. That's it. Maybe we could get along. At Fort Huachuca, Nina is a Belgian Malinois, just like the dog in the movie. Well, not just like the movie dog. Nina has plenty of energy, but she's calm and laser focused on obeying her handler, specialist Sean Dewey. Hey, you. Yes, it's kind of like another soldier in a sense. You know, you, you have your leadership who tells you what to do, and they're the same thing. We, it's more of, like I said, a friendship, but yes, we tell them what orders we give them. We tell them what to do, when to do it, but they love working for it. Carl! Ew! The obstacles are fun for Sit. Nina, but they also prepare her for situations she might Ew. face on the job. She's trained to sniff out narcotics. She's trained to attack but also to be calm around strangers and attack only on command. That confidence and control comes from rapport and respect between handler and dog, built not from barking commands, but from friendship. They don't get the normal dog life that your at-home dog does, so we'll take them out here and just treat them like a normal dog, just play fetch and just love all up on them, so that way they, you know, they get that love, but then they also know when, when we go out for the day, it's. It's serious time and we go out to work and, and they work for, for all that love. Okay. Specialist Dewey grew up in an army family and joined the army with his goal to be a dog handler with military police. He says it's a specialty that can carry him through a full army career. He says Nina's career might last eight Easy. or maybe 11 years. Easy. She's five now. When she starts to slow down, the army will work to give her the pleasant retirement a veteran deserves. We try our very best to get them out and go to a handler so that way they can just live on what we call it. We call it Fort Couch. And they just live on the couch for the rest of their life and just spend it out. But for now, Nina lives to work and to please the friend who works with her. At Fort Huachuca, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. Good what a girl. beautiful dog that Nina is. And Kyler, mm -hmm. I think Fort Couch sounds like a great, great place for dogs and for humans. <laughs> uh, good walking weather, too, tonight.